लाइक इट हैपन एवरीवेयर एल्स अक्रॉस इंडिया 2015 में द सेल ऑफ यूनिट्स रेजिडेंशियल यूनिट्स हैव फॉलन एज कम्पेयर टू 2014 सो वाइल फॉर मुंबई द 80,000 यूनिट्स हैड बीन सोल्ड इन 2014 इट फेल टू 55,000 थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन इज इट एंड पुणे फिफ्टी थाउजेंड हैड बीन सोल्ड इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन इट फेल टू फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड सो द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग टू सी इज दैट पुणे एंड मुंबई आर ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल नाउ इन सेल्स इन टू and given that mumbai has a population of 3 to 4 times that of pune and mumbai is a financial capital like there's no comparison between mumbai and pune but the sale of units has almost uh, become equal that itself uh, says a lot about the sort of situation of real estate in mumbai pune has been able to bear the onslaught of uh, falling residential prices primarily because of this constant supply of engineers and mbas that its colleges churn out and they get employed in financial services it companies etc so <clears throat> that's possibly the difference between pune and mumbai and uh, uh, 2015 has been worse for uh, mumbai and pune in in its summary q3 the quarter 3 which ended which is october november december of uh, 2015 was the first quarter where uh, sales almost plateaued as compared to the earlier quarter after 10 quarters of quarter and quarter fall here so possibly we are seeing the bottoming of the cycle now and uh, hopefully if the real economy moves if uh, the pms programs uh, start sort of bearing fruit on ground uh, then things might turn around uh, because this is as bad as bad can be it's bottomed out uh, and uh, then we might see some uh, sort of changes happening uh, otherwise uh, uh, we see a secular sort of growth uh, going ahead while the economy recovers uh. I don't see uh, so so I'll answer for Mumbai and Pune separately here. I I, I don't see prices rising in Mumbai a lot in 2016, uh, given the inventory hangover condition in Mumbai, which is much uh, sort of higher uh, than in Pune. Uh, so uh, so so prices might be sort of stagnant. Uh, they're not going to fall now uh, because uh, as I told you, number of units have sort of almost fallen to the minimum that could go. In Pune, however, we might see a secular increase of five uh, to ten percent uh, uh, in the year. however all this is uh, assuming that the economy remains where it is if uh, the programs really start taking off and some of the hard work that the prime minister and his team have done in the last 2 years might start bearing fruit then it's a different story we could see another sort of uh, bull run uh, for the sake of a better word which was the 2003 2010 it might happen again and then real estate is cyclical so we are hoping that 2016 is the time uh, when when things start improving uh, for real estate for both mumbai and pune so over 2016 i would say so so it's not today uh, so so we should see quarter on quarter at at some point of time the prices will start rising uh, 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 because the real economy comes in uh, but all the uh, pundits of economy are saying that it's not going to happen overnight uh, it is going to take 2016 some of the stock broking pundits have said it's 2017 is the revival uh, so uh, i can't even advise that today is the right time to buy However, uh, for end users, as I always say, that uh, today is the right time to buy if you're going to use the home for your consumption. For investors, yeah, well, they can sort of uh, uh, hedge around, see the locality, and see when the prices start moving uh, up, and they can take a call at that time.